quarantining been? Well, Nicole, as it turns out... <laughs> I'm asking you that, not on the camera. Now, you did a wonderful chat with your very good buddy, Nicole Kibben, on varieties, actors on actors the other day. And listening to that, I honestly felt like I was eavesdropping on what should have been just a conversation that you two were having, a little catch-up. In it, you dropped this little nugget. You suggested that you two should do a play. And then you suggested, which I just think is brilliant, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Virginia Woolf? Virginia Woolf? Do you understand how many Broadway producers are now salivating at the prospect that that might one day occur? That would be superb. Is that something you'd really like to do? Well, I think, you know, Nikki's going to be shooting up here uh, in Byron Bay shortly, which is only like a little way up the road from my place, you know, a couple of hours, but uh, it's nothing in the bush. Um, <laughs> So, you know, we might get together and might have a chat about that. Working with Nicole in any form is a joyous thing. You know, I got to shoot Boy Erased with her. You know, we were husband and wife in that. And it's just a chemistry that's always been between Nikki and I. And I think it might be a common strength of purpose or something like that. But we were always great mates. And like you say, you know, we were supposed to do that you know, fancy chat and stick to a script or, or, or like, you know, <laughs> go to a certain place with a conversation. We just started chatting like we we're having a cup of tea. You've been putting some beautiful pictures on your Twitter account of Australian nature, Australian bush, sometimes the flora and fauna. And I, I wake up every morning, I look at them, they put, they put a smile on my face before I head out for the day. Is that is that what you're hoping to achieve for anyone else who sees them? Well, just a little bit of zen, because yeah. there's a lot of tension around. I don't want to contribute to that. I try very hard not to vent my spleen on social media because it really doesn't help anybody, you know? There's a situation we're in where some people think the way things change and the way things improve is by coming up with the funniest diss or by being the sharpest satirical mind in the group. As much as I love all of that, it's not actually helpful. What's helpful is trying to make people see and understand and expand a common truth. You're going to kill me with this interview, aren't you? <laughs> I'm wrapping. I'm, I'm, wrapping. Like, I'm actually busy, Andrew. I've got to get back onto the uh, seeding. Oh, okay. The seeding? What are you seeding? There's a few paddocks that we've overused in the last few years. So we're sort of ripping them up and fertilising them and then uh, regrasting them, you know? Very nice. All right, well, this will be my last one. COVID um, has us all in the same boat. I usually travel an incredible amount, as you know, because I'm back and forth mm -hmm. to LA at the time, although I do tend to do short trips, you're away for a bit longer. But I've found it's turned out to be a very special time for me to be at home with my daughter, who's about to become a yeah. teenager. Are you finding something to cherish about this time as well in, in the sense of family? Look, in reality, I started self-isolating about three decades ago. I got a very people intensive job and between gigs, you know, I, I like to spend time alone and 24 years ago or something like that, you know, I bought the place out in the bush and I've lived here on and off ever since, you know. So I have actually found this time of isolation to be a great privilege. You know, I've been at home since December and I seriously have not been in Australia for that long, you know, prior to having kids, prior to being married, yeah. you know, it's sort of, it's a long, long, long time ago since I, I spent that, that much time here so for me it's been very productive i've been ticking off a list of things and obviously because i can be found other things become more complicated you know i'm finding i am just as busy in supposed isolation as i would be if i if i wasn't but i get to do it here and i get to wake up before the sun and i get to um get into that rhythm of the australian bush and to me it's the reason i bought here such a long long time ago it just suits me best. Lovely to catch up with you. Uh, the movie is incredible, as I said. Congratulations on it. And it Thanks goes into much. cinemas today. And uh, hopefully see you soon. Bye-bye.